Right guys, good morning. Welcome back to the farm. Uh, today is the day the bulls are coming out. Now that sounds far less exciting than what you may think. Um, basically the bulls have been in with the cows now for eight weeks and that's their time up. So whatever's in calf will be in calf, whatever's not won't be. That van driver gave me a very funny look for holding a camera three feet away from my face. But uh, I've just come over to Rowden. Um, we left a bag of medicine, well not medicine, a halter and a couple of syringes here this morning. Um, we treated a calf that had a bad eye and we wanted to take that with us just in case there's anything in the cows it needs looking at. But uh, got that one. So John's gone ahead with the tractor and stock box up to um, where the cows are on our off ground. And I'm gonna go meet him up there. It just started raining this morning, which is a little bit annoying, but nothing you can do about that. We can actually do with the rain as well, to be honest. It's just the one day when we're going to be working outside, not in a tractor. Anyway, we'll go and find John. Uh, he actually took two of the bulls out yesterday on um, this part of the farm, on Rowden. Uh, the one that was with the heifers and the one that was with the group of cows that were over here. So we've got two more to take out and bring home. And, uh, and then after that, we had something turn up in the yard yesterday, which I will show you. Which is, um, yeah, something we've, we've got for a little while to have a go with. So, first job today, find the cows, get them in to the crush, um, get the ball out, and I think we're going to give the cows some uh, fly treatment as well. Right, we have arrived up at our off ground. We've got a nice little lane here that uh, runs alongside the dual carriageway in a minute. Also stack our dung up here. So I'm assuming John has beaten me here because our padlocked gate was open. There's the cows, thinking what's going on. Hopefully they'll call in the uh, call into the lane. And then we've got a bridge that we can go underneath, um, or an underpass even you call it. There's an underpass underneath the dual carriageway up here. And we sort of corral the cows in, and then we've got a crush and a little bit of a race so we can do anything to them. So those are the cows we want. You gonna come this way in a minute, cows? I don't know if John's ready for them down there. Don't wanna, don't wanna let them out if he's not. Just where you wanted it, was it? Where is it? A blockade? It's a 90 ground wall. <laughs> Um, they're right, at the they're gate. Fair. Sorry? They're at the gate. Yes, so, thought, I thought they would be. And, um, they're sharp and now I'll go and let them out, shall I? I'll... Can I come up with? Yeah, it's all shut here. I'll come with you. Let's see if they can attempt it out. Is this your new camera, is it, John? Yes. I mean, this can go on the top, but then you see it in here. It's all the fuzz. Yeah. I mean, it's very similar to the old one. Well, you can see yourself on the front, though. You can see what you're filming. Yeah. Maybe so. So, I just dropped John to the gate behind us. You can't see it, but uh, he's out behind. The plan is he's going to entice the cows out. Because obviously, only ever one person gives up, comes and checks them. If they see two of us, they might think, oh, what the hell's going on? So, John's going to try and entice them out and down the lane which seems to be working so far, which is good. And then um, once they're all down under the bridge, we can put them through the crush and put some uh, fly stuff on them to keep the flies off them and shed the bull out and he can go in the box. And the other group are on the other side of the road. But um, yeah, this is how close we are to the dual carriageway here. Just the other side of that fence. We're on the new GoPro. This is what you look like now, the little microphone on the side. The GoPros are well known for being waterproof um, until you add a third party microphone to them and then they're not. So you don't really want to get you wet. I have got the other one I put on my head when we're working the cattle so you can see exactly what's going on. And uh, yes, without further ado, we'll get to doing some cow work. So it's, uh, it's not started very well. We've um, 
got all the cows under the bridge there and, and shut up. And uh, just come back to the truck to get the fly pour on stuff. Um, and John loaded them into the other truck. So we now have two Isuzu trucks on the farm. Um, <laughs> John put his waterproofs and the fly stuff in the other one. But bizarrely, he put the tags and the taggers for any cows that are missing their sort of secondary ear tag that he was holding at the same time in this truck. Um, so I'm going to run back and get it because we've got them all shut up. It's the whole point of doing them now. Um, so I, I've got to run back and get the stuff. So it'll only take me 10 minutes. That's the fly stuff. pairs of earmuffs. One. Two. You ready for your sneak peek? All will be revealed later on. Let's try this again. We'll get these ones done and then I'll uh, show you what's going on with the next lot. Oh, there's a railway worker lie down. Fancy seeing you here. Fancy. Fancy. Right, so John's going to do something fantastic with the box. Try and land it about there. There is the bull. That's Varta. So we have four stabiliser bulls. We did have five, but um, Tommy failed his fertility test so poorly at the beginning of the season that we decided not to use him. So he's gone. So we have Vanda and we have Varta. So that's Varta, sorry, not Vanda. We have Varta and Vanda. We have Wisdom and we have Tristan. Now, in the Stabiliser Society, the first letter of their name is relevant to their age. So, Vanda and Varta, or Varta and Vanda, are the same age. Tristan is older, because he is, um, is, well, T obviously becomes full V in the alphabet. And then we've got Wisdom, who is with the heifers, or was with the heifers, um, as the young bull. So, whether we'll run with four groups or five groups again next year, I don't know. But um, John likes to buy, like, a young bull put on the heifers for the first season just because they're a bit smaller um, so that was Varta a couple of years ago he's now a cow bull and what's going to happen here then uh, Varta is you're going to run up that ramp into the box no questions asked splendid Excellent. We just got up to the second part of the farm where the other group of cows are. John's just getting them in. I'm staying out of the way because they're used to seeing one person. And that isn't usually me, it's normally John or Craig. Um, so they're more likely to come in with just him there. If I go over there, they'll think something's up. They think they're coming out here, but they're not. No. One cow up there in the field. She's ruining it for the rest of the You noisy lot. Hey, come here. They're coming back. What we want to do is get all these in the shed, and then from the shed, you can get them into all this handling area here. Better go and help. Take two. <laughs> Helps if you turn the thing on. It all went perfect. Yeah, yeah, everything went fine. Yeah. Where have the cows got? Oh, they are out there. They're over there grazing the hedge. They're the only way to hit us, Do you want me to push them up? Whichever. Don't run at me. Yep, you're right. Yeah. Got it. In you go. Whoa, okay. Come on. Now, I said a lot of stuff and the camera was supposedly turned on when it was off, but these are all getting the same 10 mil of Dector spots that the other group got. There's a couple calves there with bad eyes. And a cow that's got a sore foot, so we'll have a go at them in a minute. The rest of them, they're all alright. 
There's a cow with the horns. Hi, Horny. Her calf? Yes. What's her number? 1792 or 52? 50, 52. 1752. Okay. Sac de magic. Oh, this isn't going to be very easy. If your mother is 1752, please show your hand. That's her. No. Progeny. So I want 2390. 2390, please show yourself. Lots of 24 numbers. 2381. 339, 333. Oh, what are you? Oh, oh, oh. Hang on a minute. interested in the one covered in mug. Hey. Yes! Ha! Gee. That one. Oh, you got bad eye and all. Ah, yes. But well done. Yeah, you have got a bad eye. Ah, it's a Tristan calf as well. It's a Tristan calf. Father and son. I don't calf. All right, jab these few eyes. Load up, Mr. Bull. Right, so we just let the cows back out. Up from the building, through one field, into this one, and they must know what's going on because they're going into that gate down there, but it's not actually open yet. So to make sure they all come through, one of them's decided to take a rail off the fence on its way. Into me. Well done. There you are. Now I need to go through and put a battery on the fence. So I do my old little trick here of hooking the barbed wire on there. That holds the gate open. It's getting to that time of year now where everything's drying up and grass quality's going backwards. You sort of have to start doing a bit more topping and either pre-mowing or cutting for bales and you know starting again but uh they're not doing too badly they will graze it we've had a bit of rain today as well which will help hopefully we'll have a bit more this week so this is one of our solar fences that we use uh, they're really good they got a little bit that clips onto the fence and then they got this peg that goes in the ground so you want them facing south which is roughly that way Your hammer. You get a very, very good earth then, so pull this one out of the way. This one will sit on there like so if I can get the cable to behave. Got a little groovy sits in like that. And then you put this bit on the fence like that. You press this button and the little green thing flash in means he's on. Put your hammer back in the truck and then you take out your boundary blade who are very kind and sponsor the channel. You just check you've got a bit of battery which he has. Hold him up to the fence 
and he's kicking out somewhere in the region of 8 kV. So these things are super handy, the boundary blades, they're very very kind uh, and they sponsor the channel, they sent us some free blades so if you're looking for something that can cut cord and whatever else you need to cut and can test a fence, um, it has also got a little attachment for undoing bolt heads uh, up to 10 mil. Um, if you're looking for anything that wants any of those jobs doing, it all comes in one. John was loading up the animals, the bull and that cow and her calf. Put that in there. We'll go and see how he's getting on with that and it'll be dinner time. We normally stop for dinner at one. It's now half past two. Right, so we gave you a little bit of a sneak preview earlier when we came back to pick up the uh, fly paw stuff. But look what we have. We have a nearly new 6155R in the yard. Uh, it's not my normal one. If you watch the channel for any amount of time, you know that normally in a 155. It's got a frame, it's got a loader bracket. Uh, the loader that goes with it is here as well. Uh, it's down the bottom of the yard there somewhere. Tucked around the corner. But uh, yeah, why is it here? So we've been having a few ongoing issues with our 155. Um, error codes, um, what else do we have? Hydraulic pump had an O ring gone in it, which we thought was the gearbox again. We had a lot of gearbox error codes, so it's gone back in to have all that diagnosed. So, Masons, our dealers, have lent us this for the time being. Um, not actually used it yet, but it only turned up yesterday. So I thought we'd just come and have a look at it and see how it differs from ours. It's, um, it's on the same size tyre width wise, but they're taller, so he looks higher off the ground. Um, yeah, we'll jump in it and have a look. All right, first thing you notice, uh, I think this is the thing with the new ones, is there's a panoramic door there, so no post. This side, there's a post, so you have like a smaller door to get in and out of. Um, and then you also got the option of a window here then. This is the same, so there's like a cool box in there. That's the same, got the manual up there in the roof space. Lock that. Got a sunroof. Um, mine has a sunroof as well, so that's that's no different. I think they finally put Bluetooth radios in them, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, Bluetooth. Um, why they haven't done that previously, I don't know. Uh, this part of the tractor is quite different. Obviously, we've got a command arm in ours, so everything is on the armrest um, rather than over here. So you've got your three spools there. Power shaft on the back. This has got front linkage, but not a power shaft. Um, also quad gearbox, so the same as the 130 that we've got. Uh, pretty bomb proof, everyone knows how to drive one of them. And then if I move that out of the way, you've got buttons down here for like your auto steer. Uh, I guess that's headland management, or those buttons one and two are function buttons that you can assign to things. You can set the height of your linkage, you can lock your link arms, and then you can also rapidly lower them. Um, linkage is on that dial or on the switch there. There's also a button there to go up through your splitters. So this is all different, so I'm not used to any of this, but I think it's a, basically the same as a lot of this is on the command arm um, in my tractor. USB slot there, got a scroll wheel, Going through the menu. Where are you going there? Um, shortcut buttons to all the various functions. Lights, beacon button. Um, I guess that's radio buttons. Four wheel drive, diff lock. Um, you can lock out your spools. Uh, fan, heat, phone, various things. This is the same, so you've got controls for the sprayer and everything on there. I think that's the same as our sprayer one, that one. Um, D pin, there'll be another D pin down there. USB, but no power, so that's just for file. Or oh, are they power? Yeah, they are power. Power ones, I've undone that now and I can't get it back in. Overside cup holders are still a thing, I see. 
Um, got a thing there if you want a secondary screen. And yeah, I think it's, other than that, it's all the same. And then this one's obviously got this joystick because of the loader. Um, but you can set these to do anything I, that you want to, I believe. You have to have that clicked out to use the loader. There's a third service button on there for the loader as well. Up, down, left, right. Yeah, other than that, it is the same. So around the back, the drawbar is on it. I think it was delivering a baler before it came to us. Uh, because it's been doing something grass related. With the chap on the back. It's got the ice of us there, which is good. So we can hopefully do some of the uh, fertilizing that we need to do with it, should we need to. Obviously air brakes now on everything. Still got the depress switches, which is good as well. Um, somewhere down here, you'd have thought it would have an oil return. I'm guessing is that. One thing I really don't like is these. You can't have them in a fixed place. That's why on mine I've got a um, solid bar in there. Stop it wobbling. But yeah, there it is. Nice new tractor in the yard. Hopefully we'll get to use it a bit. Never look what age it was. 21. 21 for so yeah, that is here until mine is either diagnosed and repaired or repaired or whatever it needs doing to it. Um, at least we've got something that we can use in its place because in a minute we're going to be busy with either second cut, we've got some spraying to do, there's more fertilising to do, there is going to be um, a lot of the assist paddocks which you don't really see much on the channel uh, over on the other farm where the sheep are kept. There's a lot of paddocks there to spray off and reseed. Um, there's plenty to be getting on with anyway, so we'll go and find, i shut that window at the start of the video, but I had a shout out to do. So I played cricket last week against a team called Baker's 11 and one of the guys that played for them came up to me after the game and said, my son watches your videos, he really likes them, any chance you can give him a shout out? So Maxwell, if you're watching, here is your shout out, um, had a great game of cricket against your dad and their team last week. Obviously, if they'd beaten us, you wouldn't have gotten a shout out, but as we beat them, I thought I could do that. Done here now, I'm just heading home. Football preseason has started, unbelievably. Still in June, um, so I'm off to that. Let me know what you think about that tractor. Um, if anyone likes the power quad or the auto quad compared to the direct drive, got any comments about it, what you'd like to see it doing. Hopefully, you're going to line it up with some fertilizer, some topping, uh, got some bales to haul, that sort of stuff, whilst the other one's away. Um, got some dung, we can sit the trailer on and move some dung. But yeah, that's me done for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Any comments you have, put them down below. I get back to every comment, or at least I try to. Um, might not be the same day, but we always get there. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheerio.